No budget is is one of those um, insightful movies that gives an insight into what people not just it's not just comedy it gives an insight to what people are actually dealing with and going through in their day-to-day -day life and in this case it focuses it focuses rather on weddings and marriages not marriages wedding the white traditional actually all of them all their craziness because um if you have noticed uh, one thing people haven't noticed is actually planning a wedding is so expensive or it's by choice anyway it's relative but in the grand scheme of things wedding planners are making so much money because there's so much money to be made from weddings so no budget exposes the lavishness of planning a wedding and the the quest to actually surpass and be you know be the loudest so it's a it's a very insightful movie and i'm glad it's coming out the time it's coming out because this season is a season of weddings like i already have 10 ashabis i'm showing and i'm like oh god which guy who said this to mary i swear but um yeah I, I love that it's coming out right now so everybody can see that um they don't misplace their priorities they don't forget what's important that is the union not the day basically yeah it's just about the regular you know family issues uh you know that people go through especially when it comes to marriages um at the end of the day a lot of people focus more on the wedding and not the marriage and this pretty much just you know tells you that you don't need to break the bank or break your neck you know just to um have a ceremony that probably would just end in six months anyway you know so um it teaches you life's values uh and I, I feel what people need to do in certain situations when it comes to you know tying the knot so to speak so yeah it's, it's a good movie by or just production um and i'm playing you know playing a little some some but i don't want to give it away um yeah it's got a great cast um and um i can't wait for you guys to see it a few big brother housemates ex-housemates are in there as well uh, Candy Bancoli, you know, Brown, yeah, quite a couple of people. So, yeah, it's it's a great movie. It's a great movie. No Budget the Movie is a wedding story. It's about a lady who desires, dreams, fantasizes, and all she wants is an extravagant wedding at the expense of her husband's decisions and wishes. So, she just by herself engaged herself and started planning her wedding and long story short she learned that it's not really about the wedding it's about the marriage itself it's a beautiful story well in that movie i'm playing the uh the part of chief balogun who is a businessman he's a tycoon he's got money and uh, he has a wife and one daughter now my wife loves to spend my money all the time so the daughter is taking after the mother, she wants to get married and she's bringing me a bill of 50 million naira. Just to get married. That was the beginning of Third World War. You know, and it's not that I didn't love the girl, but I do. You'll be surprised by, the, by how the film ends, so let me just leave it at that. You know, it's, it's a family movie, it's great comedy, and uh, you'll just love it. You'll love it. Yeah. It's definitely going to be a movie everyone wants to watch. We all love wedding movies, even people who so-called don't love love. We still love sh love shots. So it's definitely a wedding movie, and it's different than the ones we've been seeing. We love the ones we've been seeing, but now this gives us a different, different story, more of the behind, behind the scenes, back, 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 behind the scenes, how you actually get the build up to the wedding day. So I think it gives us more of a realistic picture. We see all these movies, they look beautiful, they look cute, but you know, leading up to a wedding is not easy, so this movie lets you know. <laughs> um, the level of professionalism I saw on that set was one I also learned from. Uh, I, I thought I saw a crew that were uh, unrepentantly very dedicated to their beats. Uh, no doubt that uh, the product that, that has come out of that process, being the movie itself, uh, is a fantastic one. This film is something hilarious. You're going to be laughing, but behind all of that laughter, the truths are right there for you, you know, to pick something from. Um, the entertainment value is amazing. Uh, but the most important thing that I like about this script and the story when I read it was, it's something everyone can relate to. 
it's either it's happening to you or it's happened to your cousin or it's currently happening to your best friend it's something that everyone can relate to and as soon as i read the script i related to that story and to the character i played lola and definitely i'm hoping what happened to her will not happen to me i'm hoping i won't be like her but it's, it's a film everyone should see Uh, my working relationship with the cast and crew was an interesting one. Of course, we had our tough times. We had our amazing times. Just like every movie set, it has its peculiarities. So, so far, it was, it was great. Star started, you know, and, um, you know, every project, every movie project for me has its own ambience, which is different from the last one. And this one is so, you know, uh, there was a lot of passion, there was a lot of heat and there was a lot of fun, you know. Uh, when you have people who are already tested, you know, and you, you've worked with them over, over time, it, it becomes like, you know, just like a stroll in the park. And that, that's how it was for me. I enjoyed every moment of it, really. I already described that experience as fantastic and probably that is why I am still talking about the movie. Uh, if we had uh, rough edges in our relationship in the course of shoot, I probably would not uh, have availed them the opportunity of uh, uh, further interactions. Yeah. Uh, the working experience was like another mini big brother because we had all sorts of different ladies, some especially from the big brother house and we were working together every day. Most of us were actually getting to know ourselves. I, for one, wasn't in the Big Brother house. I watched it a bit as so I was meeting the ladies for the first time. And it, just like the story, there were different characters of women. The same thing was happening to us every day as we were filming. I was getting to discover different characters on the set. And obviously, they themselves were just getting to know me. Um, we were friends on the story. That wouldn't be a bad idea for real life, you know. It wouldn't be a bad idea for real life. I loved all of them. Um, it was nice working with them. In fact, I should watch my back as an actor. <laughs> because at first we were like, I, I did not just, uh, they are big brother housemates now. They are fantastic actors. They came and they crushed the characters they were given. I loved working with each and every one of them. Male, female, it was amazing. Look, this movie will make your day. Don't go alone. Take your girlfriend, take your family, your wife, your children. Go and watch it. And, you know, everybody, you will learn something from it. The ending will blow your mind, you know. In fact, initially, you will love to hate me. Then at the end of the day, you love to love me, you know. So that's how it is. Just go and enjoy it. It will relax you. You will, you will smile and you will learn how to make some decent decisions in the home too. Uh, one, I just see no budget. Please don't buy Chevy. Don't pay for Chevy. Because anybody that cannot give you a Chevy free of charge should not invite you to the wedding. I'm just joking. But um, it helps you contain your expectations when you go to wedding as well. It helps you understand that the wedding is not, there's no set um, look for a wedding. There's no set approach. You approach a wedding as you dim fit, as your budget dim fit, basically. Bas you know, ego, no budget. So that's one thing you learn. That's one reason you should go so that you understand the pressures people go through to plan a wedding. Uh, the second reason you should go see no budget is it's comedy. It has me inside, first of all. Hey, that's the first reason. I'm inside. Go and see the movie because I'm inside. And a bunch of other amazing Nollywood act actors are in the movie as well. So go see the movie because we are doing the best we can to promote Nollywood. And then the third reason is, hmm, why should you see no budget? Because you would have a good time. It's entertaining. It's, it's entertaining. It, there's humor in it. There's sarcasm. There's everything. The script is beautiful. The, the interpretation is amazing. Ojis did a wonderful job. And we all look good in the film. So go see the movie because you're going to stay entertained all through this Christmas period. And then don't buy Asha B after that, okay? To me and you. Thank you. Uh, I think I, I pretty much touched on that. So I feel in three sentences uh, why you should go watch Nobody the movie. 
Number one, I'll probably say um, it teaches your life's values, definitely. Um, number two, you don't need to break the bank to get married. And number three, most important, focus on the marriage, not the wedding. It's not a do or die affair. Please don't go and borrow money from the bank just to have a wedding. And then after six months, after two weeks, <laughs> after five days, you're getting a divorce you know so why did you do all that spraying money with gun shooting gun yeah so for me it's you can have the low cares of weddings and at the end of the day you guys last for a lifetime so for me that's what you know you need to hold on to and look out for in no budget the movie yeah oh, we all love love we love a good story so definitely that is one Two, we love to go to the cinema. We're looking for things to do, and the cinema is a safe place to be that you can take your family, you can take your boo, you can take your side piece, whichever. <laughs> and the most important reason is to support the Nigerian entertainment industry. We love to watch things, but we don't always support them. So I think it's a good idea to actually go watch the movie in the cinema, because you know the movie's coming right back to the people who actually put the film together instead of buying it on the main road someone that is bootlegging it. So no to piracy, go watch it in the cinema. First of all, uh, I think you should see no budget film because it is, it, it, it no doubt promises to uh, make your Christmas holiday worthwhile. Uh, secondly, I think it is a fantastically made movie. Uh, thirdly, and perhaps most important, is the fact that uh, I am recommending it. Uh, if with everything, with my modest achievement, I recommend a movie, then I think uh, you, you should take it seriously. The first reason why you should go and watch No Budget in the cinemas is because it is just hilarious, it's funny. Um, the second reason is that whether or not you're getting married, you will know somebody who's getting married, who just got married, who's about to get married, or who doesn't want to get married. Marriage is a very big topic in Africa, and for that, this is a very relevant film to you. And number three, just full of all the love that ones you have in entertainment. All your people that you love is another chance to get to see them again and see their performances. The Big Brother actors, come on, see what they did. Um, on a serious note, it's, it's a must, must watch. Hey guys, it's your boy Teddy, aka Badman, aka Alpha. Big, big, big shout out to Broadway TV, man. Don't touch it. Behind the scenes, no budget the movie, Oldish Production. December. 21st, 2018 premiering nationwide in your cinemas, man. Wait for it. One love. Cheat.